Hi guys, okay, welcome back to my channel. It's been a bit of time. I took a couple of weeks off um, from filming there and this is the sort of first intro to one of the first Bookmas videos that I'm going to be filming. How are we all doing? Hopefully we are really good. Um, today is Saturday the 26th of November and it's around about half nine I think in the morning. I'm actually up really, really early, dangerously early actually for Saturday because I usually like a lion. But today I am kicking off a vlog which is a bit sort of random. I don't know how long it's going to go for. I don't know if it's going to be weekly, a couple of days, um, four days, five days, not sure. It is the 24 hour reading challenge. So I don't know if you have recently been seeing a lot of these vlogs and a lot of these challenges um, sort of popping up on social medias and booktube and all that good stuff. I totally want to credit this one for um, Steph from Steph Loves. I watched her recent video completing this challenge and it was just mega. Absolutely loved it. Just gave me the idea of wanting to do it myself. So here we are. Uh, my chat, my sort of members in my book fam as well are participating with me um, this weekend just for a bit of sort of accountability and a bit of push and motivation, which is really, really exciting. So basically the way it's going to work is, is I have to read for 24 hours, basically. So I will be using a timer on my phone and every time I sit down to read a book I will be starting that timer and I will be stopping it and I'll be coming in at sort of intervals to let you know how many hours I've racked up and how much I've read. I don't really have many reading plans. Me and Rebecca are sort of going to body read um, during this time. Um, Rebecca is a fast reader so I don't think that I'll be able to keep up with her on sort of early rates and things. I do think she will complete this challenge within the next couple of days, probably over the weekend. Whereas to be honest with you, Steph took six days which was amazing. Um, I'm sort of aiming for the end of the month which is Wednesday, so Saturday night, so five days if I can. Um, the Probably the reason being I don't think I'm going to finish it very quickly is because I don't, like when I sit down to read, I always get sucked into what's on the TV or what Aaron's talking to me or I just, I, I don't sit down to read for like three and four hours solidly at a time unless I have snacks and tea and hot chocolate. So that could be a thing. Um, but yeah, that's what the plan is. Um, as I say, my book fan members are also participating with me. I just need to pick a book, my first book that I want to pick up um, just to read. I think it's going to be a short one maybe. Um, but plans for today, as I say, it's Saturday. Um, it's nice and chilled. Um, Aaron's just left to go over to his mum's to help her with some Christmas decorations and festive festive stuff over there um, I'm waiting in for wait for it adulting an oven a brand new oven so I'm waiting for Curry's to deliver that right now um, I'm staying in until he gets back around about half 11 quarter to 12 he's then going to take me over to my mum's always go for a cup of tea and I look around the charity shops and a bun with my mum on a Saturday so we're doing that for a few hours and then I'll be coming home and basically that's it for the rest of the um, rest of the day I am on Mel's 1k um, 18 hour reading sprint um, this evening at 7 o'clock and kicking it off with a bunch of lovely people over there to celebrate 1k for Mel. So Mel, congratulations, well done, so pleased for you. Um, so I'm going to be doing reading sprints this evening while Aaron's watching the um, football. So as I say, nice and chill today, plenty of reading opportunities. Um, I, I actually forgot to say that I can use physical and audiobooks. Um, majority of what I read is, is physical books. So I don't see me doing too much audio unless I'm doing a bit of cleaning around the house or maybe tomorrow I tend to do a deep clean with Arne so maybe I could listen to some audiobooks and then when I'm out walking Novak maybe I could listen to maybe half an hour, 40 minutes of an audiobook. But yeah, it's exciting. Um, I need to get my phone sorted. Um, it's charging at the moment. Arne's out for a couple of hours so I'm gonna take the opportunity to make a nice cup of tea and even try and get about an hour and a half, maybe two hours away before he comes up, comes home to collect me. So hopefully enjoy this. Um, as I say, this is one of my bookmas videos, not sure on what day, but title in the thumbnail will, te thumbnail will tell you. Um, I'm just obviously filming this ahead. But yeah, um, once I know what I'm going to be reading with Rebecca, I'll definitely come back and let you know. And yeah, hopefully this, hopefully this doesn't go for like two to three weeks because that would not be okay. <laughs> Okay guys, so it's about 10 or 15 minutes later. I just made myself a lovely cup of tea there. You can see my tree in the background. It's so exciting. And look, we have a Novak. Yay. Okay, so 
I've settled on the book of choice. So I can't get a hold of Rebecca. I think she's out for most of the morning. Um, and then she'll be back to do forest with me this afternoon when I'm finished with um, seeing my mum. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to dive back into a book that I started um, last week. And it is The Family Game by Catherine Steadman. This is a relatively new release. And it's set in sort of of sort of Christmas time. Um, our main character is uh, moves to New York. She's a writer, she's an author, and she has been sort of proposed to by her partner, and she has never met his sort of family. So I'm only at the part where she's going to meet the family, but I don't think, I think there's like deadly consequences, and I think there's a game, and I think there's really random traditions within the family, hence the family game. Um, I recently watched Gabby uh, put a vlog on. Um, she vlogged um, sort of recently and new, new thrillers and releases and this was one of the ones that she absolutely loved she really really enjoyed it so i'm going to dive back into this one i'm only on page 21 um i read a chapter and the prologue and the prologue nearly wow it just whoa it it hit it had all the feels so it's pretty cool that this is set in um sort of christmas you know and and around that time in new york and you know it's talking about the ice skating and um, rockefeller center and all that good stuff so i've been there over christmas in new york so it's bringing back loads of memories but that's what i'm going to do first of all um I need to get my phone and set the timer, but very, very excited indeed to get started. So let's go. Let's get this challenge underway and see how long it takes me to read for 24 hours. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's start it. Right guys, so that's me. I'm an RN to the challenge. I am currently on page um, 140, which is chapter 18. And my goodness me, I literally could probably just sit here the rest of the morning um, before I go out and read this, but I have a wee bit of cleaning to do around the house. I'm gonna try and see if I can locate the audiobook for this one. Um, I wanna do a quick 45 minute clean around the house before Aaron gets back and takes me to my mum's um, to go for a cup of tea. So this, this is just, this is mad. This family are mental. Um, our main character, um, Harriet, she has secrets of her own, but we don't know what they are. Um, she alludes to them quite a few times um, during the chapters, but we don't know what she's done and what has happened. His family, Edward, her fiance, her husband to be's family are crazy. They are cray cray. And all they do is sort of invite her to parties and they only ever have parties and it's just mad and there's just there's something deeply sinister about this family there's something deeply underlying about this family and I don't trust any of them <laughs> so yeah I think I think that's pretty much um where I'm at with this one so obviously no spoilers now I can't really talk about it too much but it's really it's gripping it's really really good a few of the members in the book club have been asking me if it's worth picking up and yeah I would say 110% yeah so yeah, I'm an RN, guys. One R, one whole R of <laughs> the 24 hour rain challenge. Yay for me. Um, just on a side note, disclaimer, I don't know how many times I'm going to come in and update you. Um, I don't know how long this video is going to be because, as I say, I don't know how long it's going to take me to film this sort of 24 hour rain challenge. So bear with me, stick with me, and hopefully we'll have loads of fun. But yeah, let me just show you my cool new. Um, mug I got for Christmas Um, this is my Christmas movie watching mug so there will be plenty of these happening movie watches happening um, in December and quite a few with my patrons in my book club so very very excited but 140 pages in there are only how many pages 370 so I have a good bit to go gonna try and see if I can source the audiobook if it can't then I'll just have to read it when I get back home again um, but yeah, this is brilliant. I'm really, really enjoying it. All right, so that's me just back in from seeing my mum for a bit. Um, I forgot to vlog, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm currently on chapter 18 then, which is page 141. So got some snacks, I've got a twirl, I've got a cup of tea beside me. 
I am going to try now to read until I finish this one. A couple of hundred pages, nothing to do the rest of the day. Let's go. Oh my God. Okay, so it is half three and I'm two hours 25 into the challenge. I just finished the family game. <laughs> this was cray cray. Absolutely crazy, crazy. Intense, gripping, intriguing, creepy, mental. This family are mental, 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 mental. So I'm gonna give this 10 stars out of five. No, five stars, guys. This was absolutely amazing. I cannot believe I have read 360 pages in two and a half hours. What the hell? This was amazing. Oh my god. Okay, so I've just text Rebecca. And it's only half three, so I've sprints on Mel's channel at seven. So what I'm going to do is, is me and her are going to buddy read a um advanced reader copy of a thriller that I've been down to read for ages. We're going to do that together. She's on her way home, so she's going to be home for about four. We're going to set a forest, and then we're going to start that book, and I'm going to continue it on in the sprints. So I'll go and get it now and show you what I'm going to be reading, and then I'm going to go and get a cup of tea and just start it. I am so like I am proper in a reading mojo. Hopefully this challenge will be over sooner rather than later because I'm reading like I've just read a five star book and I've only started. Okay, so I've just gone and got it. It is My Husband's Killer by Laura Marshall. I think it's actually out this month. I need to find the um, PR um, notes that came with it. I'm nearly sure it was out at the end of November. Whether or not it's out yet, I'm not sure, but it's definitely November. So it's by Laura Marshall, who is the author of Friend Request, which me and Rebecca read together probably in the summer, I think it was. Um, it was a class thriller. I think it gave it four and a half stars. It was really, really good. And I just have a feeling that this is going to be a really quick read because I'm just really into thrillers at the moment. It says three couples, one murder and a holiday to die for. We arrive at a villa on the Amalfi Coast ready to enjoy a sun soaked weekend with old, our oldest friends and one new face. By the end of the weekend my husband is dead but how can I mourn him when on the day of his funeral I discover he was having an affair. The only suspects are the women we went on holiday with, my oldest, closest friends. And as they start to unravel their secrets, do I really believe his death was an accident? Oh my God, this sounds amazing. Yeah, so hopefully I can finish this by the time I'm finished on Mel's Friends tonight. Like, I am literally literally just wanting to read and thrillers just always get me so i'm going to make a start on this i'm just going to go and get a cup of tea because i'm getting cold i need to be taken on and um, i'm going to get a cup of tea and yeah i'm just gonna get stuck into this so two hours 25 so far i'm going to try and see if i can get to the four hour mark by the time i go for dinner and then i'll be reading obviously on male sprints so going well so far quick update um i'm on four hours and 13 and i'm absolutely flying through my husband's killer it is so good i'm just um logging in for males 1k sprints here but i wanted to let you know that i'm actually on page 188 which is chapter 29 of my husband's killer and it's good it's not quite as good as the family game but the family game was always going to be hard to sort of follow up but there's a lot of characters there's a lot of secrets there's a lot of lies there's a lot of sort of what ifs and did such and such do this and a lot of paranoia and what you expect from a psychological thriller to be honest with you and yeah i'm just flying through it um rebecca's reading it along with me we're body reading it we're chatting to each other um sort of as we go and yeah seven o'clock then for Mel sprints, so I'm just logging in now. I'm hopefully going to. I don't have that much left to be fair. I'm hopefully, going to finish this in these sprints. Um, and then two books down for the day. And yeah, I'll probably pick another one. Um, but because uh, if, if in case I wasn't clear in the millions of times I've mentioned this, um, I'm going to be doing this for 18 hours because. All right, guys. So it is 
what time? Half seven and I'm just on the first sprint with Mel and everybody for her 1k sprints. I just want to come in. I'm very, very, um, I know that I've come in and updated you loads today, but I've just been in the house reading all day and it's just been lovely. I've just really, really enjoyed it. I've really missed my reading. I was in a pretty bad slump there for a while, but I feel like I'm getting out of it. But I'm on part three now of My Husband's Killer by Laura Marshall. And I would like to just say the last chapter that I just read before book three or part three was mental. It was mental. I think there was three or four shock sort of plot twists and it's just crazy and at this stage literally anything goes you know like it, your wildest sort of um you know predictions could probably be true it's one of those ones so yeah it's very different from the family game um very very different indeed i know i shouldn't compare books but it's very different but it's really really good um i'm finally getting to grips with the characters and who's married to who and how each of them know each other and all that stuff it was a bit it was there was a lot of a lot of it going on at the start of the book and it was just getting a bit i wasn't sure but yeah it's just whoa and i literally have been texting rebecca the whole way through and i just cannot believe how much i've read today like i literally am going to finish this um i'm on page 209 um of about 170 pages left if I can finish that this evening I love read like 600 pages 680 pages today alone and I'm sitting at four and a half hours out of my 24 so I'm really really pleased so yeah gonna go into book three here or part three and we'll see what happens but this book is crazy <laughs> Sorry, my um, glasses were steamed up and I couldn't see the camera. Yes, so I have been out with Novak for his morning walk and I continued on with the audiobook for Crave. Um, this is one of the books that I want to get finished before the end of 2022. It's one that I started for Buddy Read and didn't finish because I didn't have time. Sectioned out as you can see, but I am going to be listening to the audiobook whilst I'm cleaning now as well and racking up some... Um, some hours on the 24 hour challenge. So I'm currently on um, chapter eight, which is page 64. Um, and I am gonna continue on with this for an hour now before I start my um, Patreon sprints. And yeah, pretty much, I think it's gonna be mostly an audiobook day today because I have a lot of filming to do. Um, I think Aaron's going out this afternoon, so I'm gonna take advantage of the living room with the tree and all of the um, festive decorations and do some bookmas um, filming. But as of now, I think I'm on six hours and eight minutes, which is amazing. So I've cracked down into, so I'm still in double digits, but I'm not 20 hours, 20, 20 plus hours. So I'm very, very happy. Um, and yeah, I think this is gonna take me longer than I'd hoped for. I read, I cannot believe I read for five and a half, half hours specifically consistently yesterday I was so proud of myself um, but you know what it's like starting challenges you always go in and really excited and then you sort of tend to tail off uh, near the end but today is going to be a better day I'm hopefully gonna I would love to get to 10 hours today if possibly can so I'm about um, 3 hours 45 which I think I can do in between and tonight's football I think um, all night so I can probably just sit downstairs and read with Arne after a sprint and yeah it's just going to be great so yeah I'm still here, it's Sunday, and yeah, I'll catch up with you when I have something to tell you. Okay guys, so I'm just coming in with a quick update. It is four o'clock on Sunday, and I, and Novak, I have had a very heavy filming day this afternoon. Um, I filmed a tri chapter video on my Bookmas announcement video. Um, so I was able to start and stop the timer um, as I was trying chapters of different books for that video. So I have managed to listen to a good bit of Legends and Lattes and then I've obviously been reading those. So I am currently on, let me just check my timer, 7 hours and 15 minutes. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, I'm going to take a break now for an hour or so. Um, I'm just reading with... Um, Rebecca here on a forest for a couple of hours but I'm waiting on an hour and coming home from tennis so I'm going to take a break because I have been filming most of the day and I edited and scheduled my, uh, my bookness video 
um so i'm really really pleased with my productivity today it's been really it's just been on point and i'm really happy so i just wanted to come in and update you that i have been listening to um my audio um for crave and then i'm going to quickly start into legends and lattes again now with with uh, rebecca for an hour so so that's the plan so yeah i will again just come back in i'm, I'm still still hoping to hit 10 hours today i would love to hit 10 hours um there's football on this evening so there should be no reason why i can't so i'll let you know before i go to bed what sort of hour i'm on and yeah we'll take it from there okay guys so i'm just coming in to give you a quick update it's been quite a few hours have passed i've been reading most of the evening actually while lauren's been watching um the football so it's quarter to nine um i don't know what i'm gonna do i might put down um a reading for the evening um and just start back up tomorrow again i have got my phone with me in my pocket i am so pleased to tell you guys sorry it's really dark again why is it so dark in here sorry um i have got to 10 hours and 42 minutes today and i am so pleased i wanted to make sure i got at least a 10 minutes so or 10 hours so i'm really pleased currently 66 percent of the way through legends and lattes and i tell you what guys let me just move this camera because it's not very good the lighting's really not good here but anyway look at how rough i look as well i am really enjoying this book it is not what i thought it was gonna be i didn't really know much about it going in other than it's a booktube darling and pretty much everybody loves it and it's just one of those things that everybody just enjoys and yeah really having a dodgy time in the lighting here today but yeah it's really really good i'm really enjoying the main character viv's um sort of uh story and it's all about her she comes to the town she flees from where she was from comes to the town to make a new life starts a cafe a cafe sell, selling coffee and meets all these lovely people who help her sort of get the cafe up and running and she's having a wee bit of bother with the sort of locals um that are demanding money off her and things like that but it's really really interesting and yeah as i say it's just not what i thought it was going to be but i'm really enjoying it so yeah 66 percent in um i think i'm going to read for another maybe half hour i'd love to get the 11 hours um before we go to bed tonight i think that'd be really good and then that's only 13 left hopefully in the next four days I, ho I hope in the next four days I can read 13 hours. We'll see how it go. I've got my weekly reading sprints tomorrow night. So I'm going to be reading for at least three hours then. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah. Novak's absolutely wrecked down here. Can you see him? <laughs> but yeah. I am going to chill out, get into bed, get another cup of tea. And read for another maybe 45 minutes an hour. And... If I don't check in with you this evening, then I'll chat to you in the morning. Back to work, but I'll chat to you in the morning and we'll see where we are. Hi guys. Okay, so sorry it's been a bit of time since I have come back in and updated you, but... I have lots to tell you about. So it is first of all Monday. It's around about quarter to four. I'm just getting ready to take Novak out um, a quick walk over to Aaron's work. Um, so yes, that's going to be good because it's a lovely day. It's nice and bright and sunny. But I wanted to update you first of all on Legends and Lattes. I managed to get to 82% of that one last night and I'm really, really enjoying it. I said in the last clip that it's not like what I thought it was going to be when I first went into it but I'm really really enjoying it and I'm loving Viv's character who's obviously the main character um and her friend um Tari is it T-A-H-R-I Tari um who works in the coffee shop with her and Cal who helped her build the the coffee shop and just all of the side characters are really really good as well they all bring something to the story and it's just it's lovely it's like getting a big mug of tea and just drinking it and enjoying what you're reading so really really enjoying that so i did do a wee bit of reading before i went to bed last night today has been the main day that i have been reading because i've been working all day but i've been really really busy really really busy in work but it's been sort of um mundane admin tasks and writing articles and checking for stats and doing research and getting figures together and all that good stuff for articles so <laughs> i wanted to let you know first of all 
I have been listening to Crave because I um, dipped back into that um, yesterday the day before on audio. Want to try and get it finished. I had started it um, I think probably September, October time. October I think it was for Camp Crystal Lake. I started it was one of the Buddy Read books and didn't finish it so I want to get it finished. I was only like many pages in. I was only 60 odd pages in whenever I started. <sighs> Guys, I have been listening to this literally all day. I am currently on on page hold on I'm at one of my sections I'm really really excited I am a page um one three hundred and seven day I have listened to most of this today and I only have this left so I'm well over halfway and oh my god I'm really really enjoying this one really enjoying it it is a reread for me so it has been a bit easier to listen to but because I've been listening to it all day would you hear where I am on Oh my god, okay, so I need to tell you how many hours I'm up to. I'm up to 16 hours and 4 minutes. Is yeah, 6, can you see that? Sorry about the blind. 16 hours and 4 minutes. I am absolutely delighted. I am literally, how many hours then? 6, hold on a wee second. Hold on. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I have 8 hours to go. I am going to put a stop on it now. Well, I've just stopped it. Um, because I'm not reading. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk Novak over the hour, so it's probably gonna be another hour. And then I have reading sprints tonight from seven till ten. So that's gonna be about another two hours. So that's gonna say I add on another four to that. That's gonna be twenty hours by the end of today. Like, oh my god, I am on course to not only finish Legends and Lattes, but also finish Crave, which is four books, and then still be able to listen to something tomorrow well no probably well no i might even finish crave oh no i might not i don't know many hours i think there's like two and a half hours left sorry i'm getting carried away but guys what is going on i am so pleased with my whole entirety of my life and today's payday so it's even better it's monday and it's payday so yeah i'm getting carried away sorry so that's my update um i am going to get myself ready now get novak ready and i'm going to listen to some more of crave on the way over to Aaron's work uh, we're gonna come home have a bite to eat and then my sprints are at seven and my main plan is to finish legends and that taste which I definitely will on those sprints so yeah that's hand getting on this is actually turning out to be really class like I'm really loving this challenge I might do this like by monthly or something I'll have to see yeah I might I might I'll see what happens but yeah I'm gonna go now because I still have 15 20 minutes of work to do so I'll chat to you later on Okay guys, so look at the state of me. I've just had a shower and I am getting ready for my seven o'clock sprints. I have quite a few co-hosts on tonight. Um, I've got Demi, Shell, Rebecca and Brittany. So it's gonna be amazing. I'm really looking forward to it. I managed to read a bit more earlier on um, via audio when I was walking Novak over to Aaron's work. And I'm pleased to tell you, I am now on 18 hours and 26 minutes like what is going on here so I am hoping to hit the 20 hour mark and um, by the end of these sprints that is the plan and um, I'm almost done with Crave but I'm putting it down for this evening and um, because I'm going to try and finish um, Legends and Lattes which I should do in the first couple of sprints and then I'm going to pick another book and um, Crave's just really my audio of choice and um, for any time I can listen to one so that's very exciting Um, nearly th three books down hopefully by this evening and then four definitely by tomorrow but yeah really 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 pleased with how it's going and yeah I'll um, probably speak to you after the sprints and let you know how it just took me a minute to adjust to like everybody being the opposite. But now that I'm in it, I'm like, oh yeah, this. Okay, dokie guys, so I actually don't look any better than I did earlier on, but I am not going to apologize. It's Monday evening and I've had a shower. I have just finished Legends and Lattes and I am going to update you first on how long I have been on. 19 hours and 22 minutes. I am hoping to get to 20 hours by the end of the sprints this evening. With 26 minutes left of this one and then have another 45 before I 
call it a night but legend of sun lattes is another five stars i absolutely loved it um ending came out of nowhere so sad near the end it was so so sad just completely caught me unawares and just pulled at my heartstrings and then it just ah oh, it was just the perfect ending and it was just amazing i just absolutely loved it again i'll say it one more time it was not what i thought it was going to be it was just amazing i just loved it so i can see what all the hype's about and the reason why so many people love that book and obviously why the publisher uh, picked it up um obviously travis had been a self-publicated publication indie author um and then obviously one of the bigger publishers picked him up with Legend legends and lattes and it was re-released this month so i had an arc from neck alley which was cool and i was able to read it so yeah i might actually um treat myself to a copy of it um over christmas we'll see um because i think that the waterstones edition is absolutely stunning so we'll see anyway i don't know but that's another five star book so three and this challenge so far um i've got crave here um i'm not too far from the end i'm debating you know just reading it physically for the the last sort of 25 minutes and then what would that be like an hour maybe i could get an hour of this done i wonder could i maybe get a good bit of a read i could i could try so we'll see we'll see what we're doing i need another cup of tea and then i'll come back onto the sprints probably won't update you this evening again but i'll chat to you tomorrow let you know where i am time and ways and what i'm reading but wow this has been a successful day as well okay guys hey so this is the first of talk today um still like like poop but we'll we'll not worry about that um it's tuesday morning and i'm just coming up to you i've just logged in for work it's around about half eight um in the morning i've just got novak sorted out and i'm back in bed got the laptop on and i'm ready to listen to the rest of crave so last night obviously i had my reading sprints and i managed to get to 20 hours and 60 minutes so today this morning I am literally going to listen to the rest of Crave. I am around about an hour and 50 minutes away from the end of that one. Um, so that'll be my fourth book completed for this challenge. And then I don't know what I'm going to do because obviously I'm going to have an hour and a half left. Maybe just a bit more. But uh, like it's Tuesday and the start of December is Thursday. So I, I have the idea of or will I have the... I'm going to have to decide if I start my December TBR early. Get a head start or i pick another book and hope that i can read it between today and tomorrow so yeah it could be an audio i think it could be an audio but you're obviously not going to be not going to see too much of that in this vlog but yeah i'm back up again still in my jammies i'm um, still ch chilling out but i've got a good bit of work to do here I'm going to listen to the rest of crave and i'll come back to you whenever i have finished it okay guys so i'm back downstairs now and um, it's almost lunch time and i just wanted to come in and say i finished my fourth book of the challenge it was crave um i knew i was going to finish it anyway but i just wanted to come in and let you know i'm going to give this one four stars really really enjoyed it um i don't historically really enjoy ya sort of um stories but i really really enjoyed this one it was a reread for me as you know um i've said a few times in the clips already but it's it's just enjoyable it's an easy listen i can work while i'm listening to it and i can understand what's going on and i love our two main characters um and it's just it's just great jackson is a really good sort of character as well and um, the brooding type romance um romance sort of um love interest um for uh grace and it's just really really good i love grace's cousin i love her uncle everybody just every character flint um is really really a good character you know they're all just very very good in their own way and it's not often that you come across a book where you are rooting or enjoying every single character's sort of plot line and storyline so yeah really really enjoyed it hoping to um kick on with the series in december with rebecca and shell we have decided to read on which is good so i'm very excited for that i am currently on 22 hours and 24 minutes so i've put a poll on twitter i've asked in the book fam i don't know what to do uh so i've already alluded to it in my last clip do i start my december tbr and get a head start on it now today i have two days until thursday the first of december or do i start an audio while i'm working this afternoon do i start a book this evening i have a heavy filming schedule tonight and tomorrow 
so an audio might be a good idea but also i could start a couple like a book for my december tbr maybe i was thinking of the poppy war if it sectioned out um over so many days i could start it i could start the night circus i just don't know so i still have just under a couple of hours to go off this challenge so i need to read something um so yeah i'm gonna let the twitter poll go to after lunchtime and then i'll come back in and update you with what i'm gonna do Hi friends, okay so it is Tuesday evening and I am just coming in to wrap up this 24 hour reading challenge. Oh my goodness me, I have had such a lot of fun over the last four days. I cannot believe this challenge only took me four days. So just to wrap up then, I'll go over the books that I read and just how long it took me basically. So I started on Saturday uh, morning at 10am and I finished this afternoon at, must have been around about half three and I finally managed to read 24 hours this challenge was mega i really really enjoyed it it sort of um gave me a chance to see how like track how often i actually sit down and read how long i sit down and read for how many books i can actually get through as well i felt as if i was able to read more because i knew i was tracking the amount of minutes and the amount of time that i was reading for and it was just so chill and so laid back and the members of the book fam are absolutely loving it as well and um, there's a few have already finished the challenge which is amazing and i think on average it's been like two to four two to five books have been finished so that's really really amazing um, and I'm just chuffed a bit that they decided to join me on it as well. So the first book I finished was The Family Game by Catherine Steadman and I was only 21 pages or 22 pages into this one when I picked it up on Saturday morning and I gave this one a five star. This was, as I've said, cray, crazy. It was cray cray. Uh, the family were absolutely mental in this one. Our main character was like, what is going on here? And it was just, oh, it was amazing. I could not put it down. Down. I had to put it down on Saturday morning because I went out for um, about to eat and to see my mum and then as soon as I got home I was like right getting back in there and read it I just literally read it and I think I read it in two hours and 35 minutes I think I clocked on the timer so that was amazing first five star second five star then that I read was my husband's killer which was an arc that I received from the lovely Laura Marshall the author of Friend Request which I read in the summer with Rebecca this was another five star this was also crazy and yeah it was absolutely it was amazing I really really enjoyed this one very intriguing very fast paced um very creepy undertones actually because you didn't know what was happening and I didn't guess a lot of what happened um even though I was sort of um texting and chatting to Rebecca as she was reading it she was sort of guess at every plot line whereas I'm sitting going oh my god like I didn't I totally didn't get that but yeah it was really really good really enjoyed it so two five stars here and then I read on Sunday I think Saturday night Sunday I and Monday I read Legends and Lattes uh by Travis Balderi and my goodness me this is a five star as well this was so different from what I thought it was going to be it was just a hug and a mug and it was just amazing so refreshing so light-hearted and just so lovely just didn't want to put that one down either read it on kindle it was an arc from net galley so i was able to take that off my shelf and write that review up as well it was it was great just really really enjoyed it loved the main character viv and all of the side characters were amazing and then the audiobook of choice that i listened to yesterday and today monday and tuesday was crave um by tracy wolf and this was my reread and i had been at 60 some pages of this one when i picked it up on audio listened to it during the whole day of work on monday and then most of yesterday as well to get it finished off so really really pleased give this one a four star uh loved it again really really enjoyed it hoping to continue the series with rebecca and shell over the next coming months um, and yeah loved it for a YA uh, very easy easy to read and really enjoyable storyline and yeah can't can't beat a bit of vamp vampire sort of um uh storyline you know so yeah just absolutely amazing or wolf's sorry wolf <laughs> vampire what am I talking about um so yeah it was just 
really really good really really enjoyed this one and hoping to hoping to go on to i think the second one is crush um in december so we'll see how it goes so guys yeah absolutely delighted with that um four four finished uh two five stars three five stars and one four star I mean is there anything better and I just really really enjoyed this I have spoken to the members of the book fam and we could be doing this maybe every quarter because it's just been amazing and I literally have read so much so hopefully you've enjoyed this video I know it's a long one um, but it's it's a fun one so hopefully you've got to the end of the video if you have give me a likes up or a thumbs up Um, it supports my channel hit that sub button if you haven't already and head over to the patreon link down below if you would like to become a member of my book fam it's absolutely amazing over there there's some lovely people and we're just playing loads of events and reading loads of books and it's just great so yeah without further ado enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in tomorrow's video